Let's pray, shall we? As we do, I'd also like to give you an opportunity to respond. We are praying together. It is a joint venture, if you will. But it's also very personal. If God has touched your heart this morning, and he has spoken to you through his word in a way that has convicted you, your heart and your mind and your soul, I would invite you in this time of prayer to offer yourself to him, not just to speak words to him silently in your heart, but to say to him in your heart, Lord, I surrender myself to you. Maybe you have never, ever consciously said, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me, that you are risen from the grave and that you're coming back, and I trust you. Perhaps today is the day as God has touched your heart and you say, Lord, I do believe you. I'd invite you to speak that to him as we pray together. If you've wandered from him or if your vision has become clouded and you find yourself pursuing things that don't really matter, but God is speaking to your heart, then would you join with me now in committing yourself to him and saying, Lord, awake me. And let me follow you. Let's pray, shall we? Father, we believe your word. We believe that you are God. We believe that you are good. And we believe that you care for your own. And so this morning, we pray, awake us now. Awake me now, Lord. You have spoken so clearly in your word. Your Holy Spirit testifies in our hearts. And we say before you, Lord, we believe. I believe. I will follow. We will go where you lead. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.